Hello everyone. Today we'll talk about the DMELT. It's a quality control measurement system that allows you to determine melt index and elongational properties in just one filling of the barrel. I'm Markus from the Gottfried Application Department with a new Gottfried Roundtable episode. In this video series, we will show our products and discuss all kinds of topics regarding rheology. The D-melt consists of a, one of our top-of-the-line MI40 melt indexers mounted above a haul-off system. It's meant for quick and easy QC measurements for polymer producers and processors and it's mostly used for extrusion grades with film or blow molding applications. It will produce two results in just one barrel filling. You have the melt flow rate that indirectly um, characterizes the shear viscosity according to ISO 1133 or ASDM D1238 and it will also produce the melt force and that's a new index that characterizes the elasticity of the melt. It correlates quite well with the suitability for extrusion applications and also the branching structure of the polymer. Okay, let's have a look at a test and how it's actually done. The test setup takes place in a custom PC software that's optimized for ease of operation in QC applications. You just select the product that you want to measure and you send over this uh, product definition to the DMELT system. Filling the polymer itself is actually the same as for melt indexing and then after slightly short melting time of roughly four minutes, the big winding drum of the D-melt itself starts to turn. The operator has to come to the machine and wind the strand using some tweezers and after that the test runs automatically. The velocity profile that is run on the big winding drum is automatically calculated based on the target MFR of the material and it's part of the product and the parameter set in the end. After winding, as I said, the operator can leave the machine and the test runs fully automatically. Let's look at the application here. We have an example with two LDPE grades that were measured at 190 degrees with this system. Both have a very similar MFR of roughly four and that means the shear viscosity at least at, at the lower speeds is pretty similar. But you can see here with the DML result there is a big difference. Material 1 shows a value that's nearly 2.5 times as high as material 2. Both materials will show drastically different behavior in extrusion processes and just melt indexing in this case would not show you any difference at all. Overall, in our experience, the system is highly sensitive and also selective. It can easily differentiate between different grades and often you have to interpret both numbers and, and look at them and this correlates quite well with the behavior and actual test, um, application in the end. Overall, we think the system is very easy to operate and will um, give you a far more comprehensive material characterization compared to just uh, melt indexing and it's especially useful for extrusion grades. The test takes just the same amount of time that a normal melt flow index test uh, will take and from our experience the system has shown a very good selectivity for the polymer structure. It actually also shows a very good correlation to our bigger elongational rheometer that's also called a rheotense while being far easier to operate. So it's less of a specialized machine and more of a machine everyone in the lab can use easily after a very short training. That makes the system in the end a perfect solution for producers and processors of ex extrusion polymers. Okay, thank you everyone for watching our Gertford Roundtable today. Stay tuned for the next episode and have a nice day.